lucid dreaming versus astral projection. Okay, it's a big topic and there's a bit of controversy around it, so I'm just going to go and crack right into it. So today I just wrote a blog post explaining uh, why, in a nutshell, I don't really think astral projection is uh, what people think it is. Okay, I believe that it's essentially a different form of lucid dreaming, and I can explain why. Now, before I start this, I want to explain that these are my opinions, these are my thoughts. Uh, you don't have to agree with them, and please don't get offended if they don't match your own. Um, that being said, I will leave a link to my blog post in the description so you can actually read, like, I went into quite a lot of detail in this blog post. Um, so if you want to read that, uh, it will probably explain a bit more than I'm going to explain in this video. That being said, uh, astral projection is something which... People define astral projection as being able to separate their their spiritual, their astral body from their physical body uh, and travel around what's known as the astral plane or the, the astral uh, world, right? And the idea is that by doing that, you can interact with other people, other astral travellers, you can interact with different entities, uh, it's, it's believed that you can experience um, demons, you know, spirits, entities, energies, that sort of thing on the astral realm. And the idea is that it's like a, a real tangible, well not tangible, but you know what I mean, it's like a, uh, a, what's the word, it's a steady place, it's like consistent, you know, whereas in a lucid dream it's always going to be different, whereas apparently with an astral with astral projection and astral travel, you can visit specific places in the astral world. Um, and the idea is that this sort of, in a way, proves that it's real. I don't think it does. Uh, and the reason I don't is because the very way of inducing astral travel, of having an astral projection experience, is almost exactly the same as a wake-induced lucid dream. Okay, so my opinion and my thoughts, and please comment if you disagree with me or you have some other sort of uh, things you can add to this. My thoughts are that astral projection experiences are essentially just wake-induced lucid dreams. So when you, when someone has, you know, when they try an astral travel, what they'll do is they'll lay or sit down, they'll wait for their body to be paralyzed, sleep paralysis, right? Uh, and they'll wait for their, their, you know, their muscles to not be able to move and then they'll keep their mind awake and aware as they sort of transcend into this different consciousness, this different state of uh, awareness astral protection, right? I would argue that that is essentially a wake-induced lucid dream, and those of you who have done wake-induced lucid dreaming, uh, you'll you'll sort of agree with me, because it's the same thing, you know? Uh, and that, that's one of the reasons why I've wrote this article. You know? And the other one is this. When people report what astral projection feels like, okay, when they actually describe the experience to other people, they almost invariably will describe exactly the same thing as sleep paralysis, right? When you start to enter the the, uh, the astral world, you'll have like a, a buzzing sensation. They might hear like a ringing in their ears. They might feel like there's weight pressing against their chest. These are all exactly the same as sleep paralysis. And especially when the induction method is the same as a wake induced lucid dream, it leads me to think, well, okay, so there's this, this experience, astral projection, which we have no scientific proof for, Okay, there's been no studies proving that it actually is a, a real thing. Whereas on the other hand, lucid dreaming, there are studies, it's been proven, it's been scientifically uh, shown to be a thing time and time again. And there are links to these, these studies in this, in this proof in my article. Whereas astral projection, there's no such proof, right? So we have an experience that's almost exactly the same as lucid dreaming, only different in terms of what people experience in it. So what I mean by that is, when people try and astral travel, they usually will have read articles about the experience saying things like, okay, when you astral travel, you're going to experience demons and entities that you might not be in control of, okay? Uh, so, so be careful, is what people say. By having that experience or that expectation in your head, when you try and astral travel, what's going to happen is you'll enter a lucid dream, and because the expectation is there, you expect to be... Uh, not able to control things, you expect to run into difficulties, or you expect that you'll see like a, a cord connecting you to your physical body. Because you expect these things, you'll experience them. And this is the same with almost any aspect of lucid dreaming. What you expect to happen will happen. And therefore, I, I have to say that 
I think astral projection is just another form of lucid dreaming. That doesn't mean it's a bad thing. However, uh, the only warning I would say is that if you're trying to astral travel and you have all these expectations of what you'll experience and you, you believe that when you do it, you won't be able to control what you experience, that's kind of a bit dangerous because you're going to be entering what is a lucid dream, but with the belief that you can't control it. And that's just going to give you a lucid nightmare or you're just going to have a weird experience that you can't really control and... Personally, I don't see the benefit of that. I'd much rather have a lucid dream that I can control and that I am aware of the fact that I can control it. Right? So hopefully this has made a little bit of sense. Um, if you want to learn a bit more, please go and check out my, my article about this. I, let me just get the link quickly. Uh, it's on my website, howtolucid.com. I'll put a link in the description. And I'll see you in the next video.